Hi guys and welcome back to the channel or if you're new here then welcome. My name is Heather and on this channel we like to walk a very fine line between a shopping addicted makeup monster and a responsible adult with a makeup hobby. Now I really enjoy eyeshadow singles, dual chromes, multi chromes, blush, highlight, clearly some complexion products and today we are going to be doing my collection video that centers on primers, foundations, concealers, and setting powders. So if that sounds like something you're interested in stick with me we're getting into it right now. As you can see I've got a lot of stuff here I've even got some stuff off to the side that you can't see at the moment um, and I think what I'm gonna do is set that stuff further off to the side and I think I'm gonna focus first on foundations and concealers get that kind of cleaned up and then we'll go backwards into primers because um, I think that'll just make a little bit more sense I do also have two kind of like glowy body products so I'll start with that I do have the Nabla body glow this is in the shade sugar babe and I got that from a trend mood box and then I have this Marinella um, golden oil that I got from a Tri beauty box I believe um, so I'll be keeping both of these I don't typically purchase products like that but since I already have them in my collection I'm going to keep them and use them on the rare occasion that I actually get to go on vacation or enjoy myself. This is the Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. I do really enjoy this um, particular like tinted moisturizer type product so I'm going to go ahead and keep this one. I also really enjoy this Becca Glow. It's a little bit dark for me but I think I can mix it into other things. It's also very very glowy so um, just know that about this product if you decide to pick it up before they go out of business. I do like this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue, so I'm going to keep that one as well. The NYX Bare With Me is okay. Um, I think I can probably pass this one on. It's not like my absolute favorite, so I'm going to pass this one along. This e.l.f. Camo CC Cream, it's actually pretty full coverage. Um, I don't know why I keep thinking that it's like a lighter thing, but it's definitely a full coverage product. Um, I do kind of like it but it breaks up pretty quick um, so I think I may pass this one along too this was actually a gift or gifted to me from Influencer for review purposes and then I have the Milani glow hydrating skin tint I really like this stuff I think this is a really nice product so I'll be keeping that one I have the NYX born to glow this is a fabulous fabulous product so I'll definitely be keeping that one this ColourPop Pretty Fresh um, Tinted Moisturizer, I've used a good amount of this. I mean, obviously it's kind of like squeezed out. And I just, I don't really like how this sits on me. I think it's a little bit warm, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Then I have this Super Dewy Skin Tint. This is definitely a little bit light, but I think mixed with the Becca, it would be just fine. Um, so I'll be keeping this one. The lid sucks, though. It always pops off. And then I do have the Ordinary Serum Foundation. This is lovely, this stuff. So I am definitely going to keep this one. And I would consider getting multiple shades of this if I ever change shade with a suntan, which is never. But if I did, I would definitely pick up more than one shade of this one because I think it's really lovely. The Pacifica Light Clean Foundation. I actually have two bottles of this right now. This one is almost done. And then this is my um, backup. This is the only one I've ever purchased a backup of. I got this at TJ Maxx, though, for a little under half the price, um, which is why I chose to pick it up. I do really like this foundation. I think it's a really nice one. If they have your shade, it's worth trying out. But they have very few shades, and they all lean very light. So I'm guessing most people will struggle a little bit to find their shade, unfortunately. Then I have the Woma Beauty, which definitely does not have problems with finding shades for people. I have Fair Lady T1C, um, and I really love this foundation, so I'll definitely be keeping that one. I have the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation, another really great foundation. This is the LP4. Um, I would consider picking this up as a concealer as well, um, because you can use it as both, but I would need two different shades to do that, so I may do that at some point in the future. I got that one half price though, so I would want to get it half price. <laughs> the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Foundation, I think I liked this one. This was light 33C, so I'm going to hang on to this one for a while. And then the Tarte Foundsealer, I got this because of 
Teresa is Dead, and it's a really lovely foundation. It was half price during one of the Ulta sales, so I would definitely, that's the time that I like to pick up these higher end foundations because I don't run through foundation fast enough to really have to run out and buy it all the time. Um, and if I can pick one up for a half price, that's I would really love to do that. So that's what I did with that one. And I think that's all my foundations. So let's talk a little bit about concealers. I have a ton, ton, ton of concealers here. These are some primers off to the side. Oh, this is a primer too. Oh, and these little guys are technically foundations as well. Um, these are just some sample sizes that I haven't gotten a chance to use yet. So I'm just going to keep them um, until I get a chance to give them a try. All right, now we'll get into concealers. NYX Born to Glow. What a fantastic concealer. I would absolutely recommend that to anybody who is thinking about trying a new concealer. Um, the only thing I don't love is that it has this really long, like, pillowy applicator instead of, like, a doe foot or something. So not the most hygienic thing in the world, but I do really like the formula, so I'm willing to look past it. Definitely keep. Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Definitely really enjoy this one as well, so I'll be keeping it. Same with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. What a lovely concealer this is. So I'll be keeping that one. I have one from Woman Beauty. Um, and it is very, very nice on my skin. So I'll be keeping this one for sure. This one is from Pretty Vulgar. And you can see it's already starting to separate. So I think I'm going to let this one go. I can't remember if I liked it or not. I'm sure I did. Otherwise, I would have discarded it long before now. Um, but I got it in a boxy charm, so I don't think it's a huge loss to, to declutter that one. I have two shades of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This is probably my absolute favorite concealer out of anything that I have in my collection. You can see I've made some pretty serious dents in these products, so I will definitely be keeping those. I have two shades of the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. One is a little bit warm, one is a little bit cooler, so I'm going to keep the neutral, and I think I'm going to discard the warm one. And I have, this is the No Filter Concealer. This is in the shade Fair 08. Um, if I remember correctly, this was a bit, like, matte on my skin, and I wasn't a huge fan of it, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. I do have this white No Filter Concealer, which I got from ColourPop, but the top broke off of it before I could actually, like, use most of the product. I was using this as, like, an eye primer to do, like, a cut crease. Um, and since the top broke off of it, I'm going to be letting this one go as well. I have this one from Flower Beauty. This is actually a really, really beautiful um, concealer, so I'll be keeping this one. This is the Light Illusion Concealer, if you can still find it. I have this one from Revolution. This is in the shade Light, and it is a really lovely concealer as well, but you do have to click it up an awful lot before you actually get any product to come out. Um, but I do think it's a really nice packaging, and I like the formula, so I'll be keeping that one. And then this is the Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint in Pink Rose, um, which is sort of supposed to be like a color corrector and concealer in one, so I'll be keeping this one as well. All right, and now I think we're into primers, which I have a ton of. All right, and I'll start off with these two. This is actually like um, a vitamin enriched like cooling spray and then an active workout post-workout cool-down mist that I have um, from Revolu and from e.l.f. I really enjoy both of these. This one is actually almost done, so I'll be using this one to completion, and then I'll continue using this one um, as part of my post-workout makeup routine. And then I do have three sunscreens, so I figured I'd just throw them in here real quick to talk about. Um, I have this Sunbud Mineral Stick, and then it's supposed to be for the face, but it is really, really uncomfortable to drag this around on your face. And then I have a mineral sunscreen and a glowy sunscreen. So I think I'm going to keep these two and I'm going to pass this one along. Okay, now we have a bunch, bunch of primers. So let's talk about them here. This is the Marshmallow Primer, which I got as a sample from NYX. I really enjoy this primer. I think it's really nice, and it smells like marshmallows, which is amazing. So I'm definitely going to go ahead and keep this one. Let's see if I can move everything over just a little bit there. Okay, let's 
so that's that. Um, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Hydrating Primer from ColourPop. I'm going to finish this one off, but I probably won't repurchase. It's a decent um, primer, but it's just, I don't really see it doing a whole lot, so I'm just going to use it up and get rid of it. Then I have the Primed and Peachy Perfecting Primer. I do really like this primer as well, so same thing. I'm going to use it up to completion and then get rid of it. I have these two like really fancy ones from YSL and Guerlain and I'm going to use them up. I usually tend to stick to these on like special occasions even though I don't think you can see the gold whenever you um, apply everything else over top of it. I do think it's kind of special to put on so that's what I save these for. And then I have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. This is a really nice primer. Um, it kind of smells like those little like flubbery toys from your childhood, but it does work really nicely. So definitely will be repurchasing once I run out of that, keeping it for sure. Same with the Ordinary High Spreadability Fluid Primer. This is a really great primer too. If you're looking for something to kind of smooth out your pores, kind of pore minimize, but not be too cakey, this is a really great option. It's just a few dollars. I have a couple of these sticks. Um, this one is an active cooling face stick from Ulta Beauty, which I got in, I think, a sampler bag or whatever. I'm going to go ahead and keep this one with my post-workout stuff. Um, but these two Physicians Formula ones, I feel like I've used these as much as I'm going to. I just kind of don't care about them as much anymore, so I'm going to go ahead and let these go. Then I have this Iconic Beauty Blur Sticks. I actually really enjoy this one. It has a really lovely, like, kind of coconutty vanilla scent. Um, and I do think it does a little bit of, like, a blurring effect. So I'm going to go ahead and keep using this one. I have one tube, remarkably only one, of the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm going to keep this one because I haven't gotten a chance to use this up yet. So I'll keep that one, but I probably won't repurchase. One that I would repurchase though, the NYX High Glass. Oh my gosh, this is such an excellent primer. I would definitely encourage you, if you like luminous primers, definitely check this one out. It's lovely. And if you don't want a NYX product, the other really great luminous product would be this Lottie London um, Illuminating Coconut Primer. This would be another great choice for um, anybody who likes really luminous primers. If you want something a little bit less luminous, this e.l.f primer which has like no name on it um it's called lit lit from within is a really nice primer it's just a few dollars um so that would be a great alternative as well and then i am going to keep the supercharged dewy primer this smells like oranges which i really appreciate this is from milani um and it goes with that same collection of the under eye tint um so i'm going to keep this one because it is a really enjoyable primer to use I have two of the e.l.f. putty primers. I have the luminous and the poreless. I do enjoy using these, so I am going to keep using... Good lord. I do enjoy using these, so I am going to keep using them. Um, so they are going to stay in my collection. And I do also really enjoy this e.l.f. Retro Paradise um, oil, which I picked up from TJ Maxx. Um, I didn't pick it up at the actual time it launched because it's like $10, which I thought was a little pricey for e.l.f. But I do think the actual dry oil is very nice, so I'm going to keep that one. And this Makeup Revolution Glass Liquid Skin Illuminating Primer is also really nice. You can kind of see it settles very easily and you can see all the little like particles there. But if you give it a good shake before you use it, this is a really, really lovely illuminating primer as well. I have a teeny tiny sample of the Becca Skin Love Primer, so I'm just going to use that up and then get rid of it. I have a little Smashbox Oil Shine and Control. This is usually not the issue that I have, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that along. I've not even opened that one. Um, the Tarte Maracuja Oil I am going to keep. I do really like this in combination with the Tinted Moisturizer and the Concealer from the same collection. I have the Pore Professional. This is like the pearlized one. I'm going to go ahead and use this up to completion. I have a bunch of these like Urban Decay primers and some ritual defeat like I'm just or I'm sorry ritual of Sakura um, I just don't think I'm gonna use these so I'm gonna pass these along as well and then the last one is the Pat McGrath lab skin fetish primer which I got from my aunt um, you know for being Pat McGrath the fact that this is just like paper wrapped on top of plastic and the paper doesn't stick to the plastic is kind of 
telling like this is not a high quality product it doesn't look like a high quality product it doesn't feel like a high quality product so I'm sure I'll use this one up but I definitely won't be repurchasing and then for somebody who doesn't even really wear powder I have an awful lot of powder <laughs> So I think I need to calm this down a little bit. These are the two kind of more luminous powders that I have, the Halo Glow Setting Powder and the NYX High Glass. These are both such beautiful, beautiful powders. This one's loose, this one's pressed. So I'll definitely be keeping both of those. The Peach Perfect Powder is also one that I really enjoy using. It still smells like peaches. You get an enormous amount of powder um, for the price. So I'll be keeping that one until I run out. The Beauty Bakery Flower, too adorable, can't get rid of. The It Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder, I've actually made a pretty good dent in this one already. I'm going to keep that one. I do really enjoy it, but I hate how bulky this packaging is because there's like a sponge underneath the actual package of it. I don't like that at all. The Too Faced Banana Powder, it smells like a banana. It's adorable. I'm keeping it. The e.l.f. powder, this is a like matte blotting powder. I think I'm good. I mean, I think it's a nice powder and everything, but I have so many already and I rarely ever use them. This one does not like jump to the top of my list, so I'm going to let this one go. I have a mini of the Hourglass Mineral Veil. I'm going to definitely hang on to that. The Pacifica, a light, um, this is the Cherry Velvet Matte Translucent Setting Powder. It smells like cherries. That's why it's getting to stay. And then I have this little Makeup Forever HD Powder. Um, I haven't used this. Am I going to use this? I'll hang on to it for now, but it may not make it through the next declutter. Alright you guys, I actually did pretty decent with that one. I let go of several foundation and tinted products, several primers, several concealers. I'm really happy with the progress that I made here. Hopefully everything will fit together a little bit easier in my little drawers that I use, which look like this. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this long video. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you go, and I'm going to catch you in the rest of my collection videos. Bye!